Boom! How's it going, comrades? This is Wes, aka Dr. Fumbles here with another reaction, guys. So, um, here I am, guys. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and react to these what if stories now. And now I want to give a shout out to Xavier18 for posting the links to this. Um, and I think you posted um a link to um another channel as well, which I'm, I'll, I'll take a look at. But um, this was the one that caught my interest, the what if stories. So I was like, oh, and it's this is by um guy, this is by um Echidna. This is this person's channel. So um, so please before you watch my reaction, definitely go watch their video first. And then come watch my reaction to it. Um, hopefully, a kid nut. You know, the funny thing is, I did not know how to pronounce this YouTuber's name because I, I didn't know a kid nut at the time. So when you guys mentioned him to me, I was like, how you how you pronounce that? A chid a chid nut a chid donut. I was like, but now I get it. It's a a kid nut a kid nut. <laughs> Very clever. Hopefully, a kidna doesn't remind me reacting to their stuff. Um, if they do, I'm pretty sure they'll just reach out and be like, "Hey, please take your take my my content off your channel." And if they do, just keep in mind, guys, I probably will have to do that because you know, first and foremost, it is their content. So, at the end of the day, well, I mean, I'm I'm sure they won't mind, but just in case they do, just let you guys know. So, if the video just disappears and you don't know what happened to it, just know most likely it was because I had to take it down because of because of reasons. <laughs> All right, but um, this one is called ReZero Slot If Story Part One. Guys, I'm so excited about this because so what you guys told me this um supposed to be um this is supposed to be a a kind of like a not really a side story per se, but more of like a um what would happen if if Subaru didn't reset if he just kept going with this story like he kept going with that timeline right so i'm very interested guys like, I, I, like i'm ready so you know what i'll this to do guys let's get into it oh show me how you can... oh this is the one where what if Subaru never said the words, I love Amelia? What if he chose Rem instead and ran away with her, leaving everything else behind? In the Sloth If story, Rem and Subaru run away together and live happily ever after. But in order to achieve this happy ending, Subaru had to sacrifice everyone else. Throughout the story of ReZero, Subaru is repeatedly tested, often being forced to choose between a specific- Holy crap. Wait, wrath versus patience, pride versus humility, greed versus charity, sloth versus diligence, gluttony versus temperance. Yo, that's that is true though. Like he, so yeah. Like did, did this guy really go through all the the, the, the deadly sins? Cause that's right. He did like the whole thing with pride versus humility. That was with him versus um when he was um up against um. Julius, right? And Rat versus Patience. I don't remember what that one was. Plot versus Diligence. I mean, I'm assuming that was the thing with uh, with Betelig use. Greed versus Charity. Gluttony versus Temperance. Oh my gosh, holy crap. Specific sin and a specific virtue. In episode 18, Subaru faces the dilemma of sloth versus diligence. Oh, okay. As we saw, Subaru ends up choosing diligence in the end and actually faces his problems instead of hiding from them. In the sloth if, this doesn't happen. Subaru chooses the easy way out and runs away with Rem, abandoning everyone he was supposed to save as well as the first two chapters of the Rem If prequel. Oh, I'm now, here for I know it. the prequel was written after the original Rem If, but it's arguably more interesting, and I think it's best we start chronologically anyway. So without okay. further ado, this is the Rem If prequel. All the right. beginning of the ReZero Sloth If story. Okay, bring it. Yes. By the way, guys, I'm probably going to like cut some stuff too, because this is not my content. Rem and Subaru are huddled up together, sharing a blanket inside a carriage. Rem's wide awake, but Subaru is currently asleep in the middle of a horrible nightmare. 
In his sleep, he starts mumbling out loud about his feelings of shame and self-hatred to the point that it starts to disturb the other passengers. <laughs> remember, because Rem agreed to run away with Subaru, episode 18 didn't happen the way we remember it. Subaru's mm. mental conflict remains unresolved, so he's still suffering from self-loathing, depression, and now guilt as well. Mm, One of right. the other passengers in the carriage seemed to be genuinely concerned for the sleeping Subaru. He hands Rem a piece of paper and tells her to bring it to someone named Hallible. Rem accepts the paper, and then there's a big time skip. A big Chapter time one, skip? Two months. Two months later? Okay. Subaru's had to move around several times, but he finally settled in a town called Banat. In many ways, Kararagi was oddly similar to Japan. Almost too similar. What? Kararagi and residents eat with chopsticks and wear traditional Japanese clothing. Kararagi's buildings resemble early Japanese architecture, and the Kararagi accent sounds exactly like the Kansai dialect. So somehow, Japanese culture had infiltrated its way into Kararagi. Was this just... Many believe that there are were others besides Subaru who originally came from our world? What? It's a coincidence. I personally don't think so, and neither does Subaru. There is definitely something strange going on in Kararagi, so if any of my subscribers have a theory about this, I would like to read it if you want to leave a comment. I would like anyway, to know your theories Subaru too, guys. Rem now share an apartment in Kararagi as husband and wife. Yes, Natsuki Rem was even more beautiful now than she was in the past. I need Instead to see of a maid outfit, she wears a blue kimono that matches the color of her hair, which is actually a lot longer now. Oh, Rem bro. works as an elementary school teacher, and Subaru is currently unemployed, searching desperately for a job mm. next door neighbor is a shabby looking wolf human named hallible if you hallible. saw my wrath video or you read the story you're probably familiar with hallible already but for those of you mm. who don't know hallible is one of the strongest characters in re-zero think of him as the ultimate ninja he's pretty well known throughout kararagi but at this point in the story subaru thinks he's just a normal guy hallible often makes fun of subaru for being unemployed and teases him and their relationship is kind of similar to that of subaru and julius at least in the sense that subaru acts like he hates hallible but deep down we all know how he really feels anyway Aww. hallible's gonna be an important <laughs> character later but as of right now subaru's number one concern is finding a steady source of income right so he heads on down to the town's employment office Office and he checks the quest board for a suitable job. One of the job offers looks pretty interesting. Investigate Zarestia's bed, it says. Subaru Ooh. tries to accept the quest, but apparently Zarestia. he's too late. Someone else is already doing it. Well, now, damn. Subaru didn't know this at the time, but Zarestia's bed is a location in Kararagi where the great spirit Zarestia resides. It's oh. known to be an extremely dangerous area surrounded by deadly wind that kills anyone who tries to enter. The okay. great spirit Zarestia has been around longer than the dragon, which also means they were able to survive the great calamity 400 years ago. But all this information about Zarestia is pretty much public knowledge Dude, in Kararagi, all of this but again, Subaru lore. had no idea at the that time. They took out. Anyway, Subaru ends up up accepting a completely different job offer. He's gonna be working in one of the town's mansions as a maid. You didn't have to show him yeah, and then so made up for those. him a little bit when she finds out. So Rem tells him he better go to sleep early tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But tonight, the two of them can stay up as long as they want. Yeah, Rem likes making little sex jokes, but the best part about it is actually that she isn't joking at all. Two days later, Subaru starts his first. So you're telling me that him and Rum did they got busy? Well, right, they're married, so 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 they would, and they run they want having kids. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> okay, as a, as a Subaru Emilia shipper, I don't know how I feel about this, but I I do dig it because I'm glad I love Rum though. It's just, I don't know if I love her with Subaru, because I want room to myself, <laughs> so I'm kind of jealous right now. Okay, so, so far, from what I gather, so Subaru, he left with room, and um, his, his, next, his next door neighbor is Hallible, he's important, but we don't know why yet. Um, Subaru um, has been looking for a job, so he can help support Rim and himself, um, so that way Rim isn't doing all the work. And he finds a job as a maid. So I just want to make sure I'm staying caught up. All right. 
first day of work and immediately gets harassed by all the other maids, which are mostly middle-aged women. Subaru eventually complains to the mansion owner that his ass has been smacked close to a thousand times, <laughs> but the mansion owner tells him it's probably just because he has a nice ass. And that's how the first chapter ends. That is hilarious. Rem surprise visited Subaru at the mansion while he was working, and afterwards she waited for him outside so that the two of them could walk home together. Kararagi was beautiful at night, and Rem looked gorgeous with the moonlight reflecting off her kimono. Mm. But about halfway through their walk, the world itself suddenly fell unnaturally silent. Imagine. At the same time, Rem and Subaru both realized that something was wrong. Subaru held his breath as he looked across the street and saw a black shadow standing there. It was a bit taller than Rem, but shorter than Subaru, and he could tell by its figure that it was a thin, delicate woman. Her hair was white, but her clothes were as black as the night sky. It was rather common to see prostitutes at night in Kararagi, but something about this woman was different. Satella? There was something about her that gave Subaru a sense of dread. Subaru looks at the woman's eyes, he feels a sense of violence and hostility directed towards him, and then realizes he can't move at all. Frozen in fear, he forgets how to breathe and starts losing consciousness. Oh my god. The overwhelming presence increased its pressure to the point that it practically burnt Subaru's skin, and the atmosphere was filled with a strong sense of murderous intent. But Subaru just stood there, frozen. It was as if all the courage was drained from his soul. Yo, man, I'll tell you something. He could the do kidnaps, besides hope he, that Rem he, he does a great. Him. He's great at describing. Die, He's very descriptive. The woman says, as an invisible gust of wind flies towards the unmoving Subaru. Die. Rem grabs him and jumps away from the attack, which vaporizes the area he was standing in. Rem was still a competent fighter, but she was no match for this opponent, especially with Subaru in her oh, arms. No. Also, the kimono she wore limited her agility quite a bit, so she knew she wouldn't be able to keep dodging the Run. wind attacks for much longer. The white-haired woman continues repeating the word die over and over while blasting deadly gusts of wind at Subaru. Strangely enough, she? she wasn't aiming for Rem at all. If She's Subaru, for Subaru could just dodge the attacks on his own, Rem could possibly try to fight the woman or at least distract her for long enough for Subaru <laughs> to escape. But Subaru couldn't move, so Rem had no choice but to carry him. However, there was nowhere for them to run, so Rem understood that they would both soon be dead. She decides that she's going to sacrifice herself first, because oh, that way Subaru no. could at least survive a couple seconds longer. It wasn't the happy ending she wanted, but it was all she could do. But the gust of wind that was meant to kill Rem was suddenly blocked by the sound of steel. That's enough. Yo, the powerful how wind attack you? was reduced to nothing by just a small knife being thrown I could by tell, I could like him. Subaru I could was tell, shocked like him. after seeing what just happened. Remember, he thought Hallibal was just a normal guy before this. Mm. He also couldn't comprehend why Hallibal was even saving them in the first place. Anyway, Hallibal casually starts walking towards the woman, effortlessly blocking her attacks while she continues repeating the word Yo, so die. Dude, I Eventually, really Hallibal would love asks this her animated. the question, which me would you like to be killed by? And then splits into four different clones of himself. Let's Each go. Each Hallibal clone starts making jokes and basically just acting like the original. But the cool part about this ability is that these aren't fakes or decoys or anything. They're actually identical copies of the real Hallibal. So he didn't divide his body into fourths, but instead he literally became four people. So basically, what? Hallibal's power just quadrupled. Seeing this, the woman jumps to the roof of the building next to her, trying to retreat. Yeah, Three she up of the and Hallibals dip. throw knives at her, and she manages to block two of them. But the third pierces through her thin back. She lets out a slight groan and then disappears off into the darkness. Who was she? Hannibal appeared to be satisfied with the outcome when suddenly Rem collapses into Subaru's arms. Eventually, Subaru arrives at the apartment with Rem in his arms. It's all my fault, he thinks to himself as he waits helplessly, begging Rem's unconscious body to wake up. After a couple minutes go by, the door opens, except it isn't Hannibal. In walks the same white-haired woman from before, except this time the evil murderous aura wasn't there and the woman wore a white kimono instead of a black one. Subaru looks at her and stiffens up when he realizes who she is. Hello? What's wrong with you? 
Why are you ignoring me? The woman says. She didn't seem nearly as dangerous as before, but Subaru knew he had to protect Rem, so he grabs a bucket of water and throws it on the woman. He knew he couldn't damage her on his own, so his plan was to just distract her until Hallible arrived. Subaru charges at the woman, trying to grab her around the waist and use one of his wrestling moves, but she blocks him and knocks him to the floor, right. telling him, Just because I'm cute doesn't mean you get to hug me. Who Subaru's is she? not giving up yet, though. Again and again, he gets up and charges at the woman, who continues knocking him to the floor until eventually his face is broken and his entire body's covered in blood. He Damn. knew what death felt like, so he could tell he was getting closer and closer. Subaru is finally too weak to get back up. But the woman doesn't kill Rem. She takes a good look at her and then just leaves without doing anything. She lets Subaru survive as well. In fact, she never actually attacked him. All she really did was defend herself from Subaru's attacks. It right. was quite odd because earlier and that she night, had a white she didn't Kimono. show any mercy whatsoever. Was it someone Subaru different? Subaru passes out and wakes up a while later. So, I, I'm assuming, is this like a... Like a, a, a Satella... Amelia situation like how like how Amelia looked like Satella is this kind of like it, it, this is like what she she has white hair and like I the thing I first started off was Satella and then this chick that they that, that he was describing I, I immediately thought of Amelia because he stated that um Subaru got surprised when he realized who it was and, I, and, I'm, and I'm just oh my gosh what like is it Amelia but no no like if it was Amelia he would have said that so it's not Amelia. So who who is this chick? Is she an elf? Like who is she? Hallible's there now with a healer who's currently healing oh boy, Subaru. Hallible. Subaru immediately asks him about Rem. Is it a curse? Is she gonna die? What's mm. wrong with her? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. The healer replies by telling Subaru he's got good news and better news. But I tell you, man, Hollywood's gonna be on. Um, Rem isn't cursed or anything like that. Know, yeah. She just passed out from exhaustion, so she'll be awake whenever her body's gotten enough rest. That was the good news. Now, as for the better news, all he says is the word congratulations. At first, Subaru didn't understand, so the healer makes it a bit more clear for him. Subaru, your wife is three months pregnant with your child. Okay, so time out. <laughs> I need to know, guys. Like, how old are Subaru and Rem at this point? Because <laughs> from if I'm if I'm doing the math correctly, so three months, three months, that's six plus a. I mean, that would only make them like they're still under twenty years old, right? <laughs> or am I wrong? Am, am I? It's my math way off. Let me know. Because <laughs> I'm. He must have been hitting that a lot if she got pregnant. Like, damn. Subaru's eyes open wide. Pregnant? Rem's pregnant? This Rem's new pregnant. information was so overwhelming that Subaru couldn't think properly. Hallible tells him that he's got something important to ask him, but now is obviously not the right time. Uh. Right now, the most important thing is for Subaru to spend time with his pregnant wife and to make sure that he's the first thing she sees when she wakes up. Hmm. Hallible tells Subaru that he'll talk with him tomorrow morning and then exits the room shortly after. The healer hmm. follows him out, leaving the married couple alone together. After a couple hours pass, Rem nervously opens her eyes and says Subaru's name. Subaru gives her a brief Subaru summary of the and then informs her that she's pregnant with his child. <laughs> yeah, by the way, you're pregnant. Obviously, quite surprised, but Subaru restates it again in greater detail just to reiterate. Rem was basically in shock, but she manages to ask Subaru what he thought about it. Hmm. Maybe Subaru's unhappy about it is what she was thinking, but Subaru corrects her, explaining that it makes him extremely happy that she's pregnant. All he right. hugs her and tells her thank you over and over. <sighs> This causes Rem to start crying, which causes Subaru to start crying, yes. and then the happy married couple hold on to each other, sharing their joy with one another. Oh, that's Rem so good. tells Subaru she loves him, and the chapter ends. Yeah. Now, the next chapter has the same title as this one, so Three if months. you didn't get it, the Please. chapter titles are a reference to how long Rem has been pregnant. So between chapters one and two, there was a one month time skip, and it looks like chapter three continues right where we left off. So we'll probably get to hear what Hallible wanted to talk to Subaru about, and hopefully we'll learn a little bit more about this mystery bitch. She appeared twice <laughs> in the same night, except mystery her bitch. outfit, her aura, and her personality were different. 
The mm. first time we saw her, she didn't say anything except die, but the second time, she's almost got the attitude of a tsundere, and she wasn't even trying to kill anyone. So what's going on here? Are is there this how she sisters? really looks? Are they split personalities? Or Maybe she's just using this as a reference? Let me know what you guys think is going on. Also, I've probably made it a bit obvious by now, but let me know if you know who she is. All theories are welcome in the comment section below. Overall, I thought mm. the first chapter was kind of boring, but the second chapter definitely made up for it with some action that I totally didn't, didn't left expect. Left. I think Halibull's ability is really cool, and I'm glad we got to see that, and I was also surprised with the amount of information we got from this first chapter. Pretty much all the information we have about Kararagi came from this if story. So Dang, even if you're not man. a fan of Halibull or the white-haired girl, you've got to give this story some credit for what it does right. Hell I hope yeah. you guys enjoyed part one of I'm this have if to story. Read it. Remember to give the video a like if you want to see the series continue, and don't forget to subscribe so you'll be notified when Definitely part subscribing. two comes out. And Definitely as like always, video. guys, I do have to cut certain details from these stories simply due to time restrictions so the only way to get the full experience would be to actually read it yourself mm. i highly recommend you do so Definitely. anyway that's all i got for you guys today keep talking about re-zero i hope you're all enjoying season two but i'm out for now so peace out until next time wow holy crap man firstly thanks to a kidnap man like for, for doing this like this guy's doing holy work right now <laughs> oh okay whoa wow that was so good guys okay yeah i'm so i'm definitely i'm definitely going to part two <laughs> i'm definitely watching part two because i need to know who, who that chick is and man i tell you something so it looks like um halibo um so i'm can i say his name correctly halibo i can tell he's gonna be um like another badass like my boy wilhelm you know I would love to see those two meet. <laughs> I can tell that that's, he's gonna be like he's gonna be like my Wilhelm because I'm gonna lie, like I love Wilhelm. I can tell him I love him here. Um, but man, so who who knew, guys, that if Subaru would have left the realm, all of this stuff started happening. So I wonder who that chick is. See, I'm wondering, is it like maybe is it Amelia? Maybe she, is it angry Amelia, and she just followed him. And she's upset with him. <laughs> I don't think so. I'm, I'm thinking. I, I, I think it's Satella. Because see at this point. Subaru. He hadn't physically seen Satella yet. Right? This is way before he saw the witches. So he hasn't. He, he doesn't even know what Satella looks like. And actually. I'm trying to remember. If he even. If he even comprehends. If Satella's the one behind his power. At this point. I'm not sure. But. I'm wondering if it's Satella. But then again, if it is Satella, who's the other chick? Like the, the one with the white in a white kimono who approached him. Hmm. Guys, I guess let me know um if you want me to continue reacting to this, um, reacting to his videos. Um I'll probably do maybe one or two um per week. Really, this video right here was just kind of like some of like a test video to see if you guys would like to see more. Of it, but if you guys don't want to see my reactions to it, what I would do is just watch it on my own time because I definitely, guys, want this. I'm definitely curious about it. <laughs> I'm definitely curious about all of these. So I'll definitely just watch them on my own time. You know, just take my time watching them. But if you're like, you know, please react to them, yeah, just let me know in the comments and I'll react to them, guys. Um, keep in mind, starting next week or this week coming in, rather, I'm I will be um starting um um two other shows. So again, Tuesdays I will be starting Attack on Titan. And Wednesday, I will be um doing Stranger Things. So I'll probably, if you guys want me to react to these, I'll probably start doing these probably every third, like every Thursday or so. I can't promise every Thursday, but most of my Thursdays will be these. Um, the only reason why I say this is because I also use Thursdays to react to some other things like trailers. So if there's like a trailer that's out that I really, really want to react to, I probably do that instead. But for the most part, if you guys want me to react to these, I'll probably start doing these every Thursday. So just, I guess, again, just in the comments, guys, just let me know if this is something you would like me to react to. But yeah, man, guys, it, this, this this was good. Thank you for suggesting this. I was not disappointed. This was so good, man. I know, like, I kind of went into it just thinking, like, I wonder how, like, how interesting, how interesting this is going to be. You know what I mean? Because I'm like, so many cool, interesting things happen in the main storyline. I was like, I don't think anything's going to top what's happened so far. Hell, guys, I'm going to be honest, like, this right here, I would rather follow this storyline. 
I need to see what's going on. I mean, you know, Rem's pregnant, and then this mysterious chick, like, who is this? You know, like, I, I, I honestly, man, I, I need this to be animated, man. Like, I need the creator to, like, just animate these side stories. They, they don't have to be long. Just, like, you know, like, just 15 minute short episodes or something like that, man. I need. Because I'm just, the way he was describing it, I'm just thinking to myself, man, how awesome would it be f- for that to be animated? You know, that would look so good. I, especially that, especially that fight scene between um Halibo and um and and, and the mysterious chick. <laughs> Yo, like how you just split into four, and then this apparently he said that we split it into four. It's not like a thing that like like the like the whale did i think with the the white whale it split into it split itself into like a couple of other versions right but it weakened itself it seems like he doesn't even weaken himself he's just he just able to duplicate himself period i'm how fair is that <laughs> like i'm pretty sure that ha- there has to be a weakness in there somewhere and i do wonder what does he want to talk to subaru about yeah i, I definitely can't wait till to the next one guys yeah, so again, let me know if you guys want me to react to it or not. If not, I'm just going to start watching them on my own time. But if you do, I'll start um, sketch- making a schedule so that way I can start reacting to them a lot more, okay? Which, again, will probably be, like, for the most part, every Thursday. But, all right, guys. Yeah, man. Again, thank you for the suggestion. And Xavier18, um, thank you for posting those things for me. I also will try to check out the other. There was another link that you posted. I'll check check that one out as well. Well, all right, guys, yeah, that would do it for this video. If y'all like what you saw, please give me a thumbs up. It helps me out your minutes a month. If you have not already, why not subscribe? I post Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays. If you guys have any comments about this video or anything in particular that are not spoilery, you know, please don't spoil me on anything. Even though it's it's like a, a what if thing, still don't spoil me on it, please. Just because I'm going to be, I'm going to be watching. You know what I mean? So please don't spoil me on. But if you guys do have any comments about this video or anything in particular, post them below. I love you guys' comments. If you have any suggestions on which I see me react to next, post those as well. Since they have not seen, I will take a look at them. To the next video, guys. I'm seeing nothing but my love. Stay awesome. Deuces. Oh.